Hello everybody, this is Jeff Manning with Team Reel in the Blues. I have a lot of people come up to me and ask me about the rigs I use when I'm fishing. So I'm going to do a multi-part series of rigs that I use. I'm predominantly known for anchor fishing, but I do do some drift fishing. And I've had great success with both, but I'd have to say that anchoring is definitely my specialty. I have a lot of interesting rigs I use. Some I've seen other people use, but a lot of them I've never seen anybody use before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few videos, maybe one a week, maybe one every two weeks, and I'm going to talk about the type of rigs that I use. The first rig I'm going to show everybody is my take on a rig that I've seen other people use. It's the balloon rig. Now I know people that uh, have watched me tournament fish have seen me every once in a while with a balloon on my boat. Well here's how I rig them. A lot of people use this rig but a lot of people will take this balloon after they blow it up and they'll tie it directly to the main line. The problem with that is if you get a really big fish or say a striper, if he hits it and this knot's really really tight on your main line and he runs real real hard, he can cut your line. Sometimes it'll cut the balloon and the balloon will pop and it'll come loose, but I have had it cut my line before. So here's what I came up with. Maybe other people do this, maybe they don't. I don't know. I've never seen it done this way. It's a simple rig. It can be used for striper. It can be used for catfish. It can be used for pretty much any fish. It can be used for live baits. It can be used for anchor baits. It doesn't matter. Any bait you want to put on here. Really simple rig. Here's my take on it. I take a standard snap swivel and I use a planer board quick release. This one is the type that has a pin in it. Put about 10 inches of line in between the two of them. Take your balloon, tie it to this line. Don't tie it to your main line. Now I'll show you the advantage to doing this. By doing this, take this part of the clip you clip it on your main line now this is floating up and down you take the quick release you select the depth that you want to fish this balloon at clip it on your line the way this works and the advantage of this is when a fish does hit your rig it pops the clip loose. Once the clip pops loose, the balloon is just sliding up and down the line. You're no longer fighting and dragging this balloon. Believe it or not, when you got a fish and you're pulling this balloon against the water, it gets pretty hard to pull. That's one advantage to it. The other advantage is when you get done, you don't want to use it anymore. Just take it off. You don't have to retie. You don't have to re-rig. Take it off, stick it in your console, stick it in your cooler until you want to use it again that day. That's one way I use it. Now, one of my favorite ways of using it is shallow water. You're in the back of a flat, got a slight wind blowing toward the back. What I do, I'll take, sometimes I'll leave the weight on there, sometimes I don't. What I'll do is I'll rig that thing up with the balloon. Again, if it's five foot deep water, I'll set this balloon three feet. That way the bait's just barely up off the bottom. You can even put a drift sinker back there if you have a lot of wind to keep your bait on the bottom. But most of the time I feel, you know, put a quarter ounce weight, just something to keep it down because the balloon's moving really slow. Even with a good wind, the balloon moves slow. You can take this balloon, you can feed it out 200 yards across a flat or until you spool your reel. I've done it before. Most time by accident because I forgot to, you know, to turn the handle. But hey, that's, that's for another story. So you let it drift out there. You just let it drift across that flat, and then every once in a while, you'll look up and you'll see the balloon stop, and when it stops, you'll start seeing it going the opposite direction, and once the fish feels that pressure, that balloon, he'll take off. The balloon pops loose. It's still hooked on your line by the swivel. You fight the fish in. Turn around, throw it right back out. You, now you know where that fish was caught because you had the balloon. You've seen exactly where that fish was. So now you can pretty much float it back to the exact same spot if you can. At night, before you blow your balloon up, drop one of those little, uh, the little breakable chem lights. Drop it down there, little glow sticks, put it inside your balloon. Use a lighter color balloon like yellow or white or green. Drop the glow stick in there, 
shake it up, get it good and lit up. Now you've got this balloon that's lit up like a big giant bobber and it slides across the water. Works great, it's a great rig. Works great for uh, catfish. Uh, you can put a live bait on her, works great for striper. Definitely works good for gar. Uh, there's some gentlemen on Facebook, uh, the Bank Boys. Got a great site. I love to take and see the fishing reports that he has. And uh, I've never met any of them, but they seem to be some good fellas. This rig will be great for that. Get into a slow moving stream, put your bait on there, set it two or three feet below the surface, and just let the current carry your line down. This rig works great for bank fishermen. Sitting on the bank, you can blow this balloon really, really big, and it doesn't take a whole lot of wind to get it to move. It is scoot across the surface, you can get it way out further than you can cast. Then, now here's the biggest advantage to this rig, and here's where my rig's a little bit different than a lot of other people's. I don't tie this to my line. So here's the greatest advantage. I got this thing snap swivel, and a lot of times I'll use a swivel small enough that it can't go past the main line swivel. That way it doesn't get down there and interfere with the hook. But here's the greatest advantage to this rig. You're fishing in a slow moving current. You can suspend six, eight, 10, 12 ounces with a balloon. You just gotta blow it up a little bit bigger. I'll clip this thing directly at the swivel. Got your sinker hanging right here. Set it in the water, let the current carry it down 150, 200 yards below the boat. Once I get it out as far as I want to go, I'll take and give it a good yank. When you yank it, the balloon pops free. Your line goes straight to the bottom. Keep enough tension on the line to where you can see the balloon on the surface. Now you know exactly where that bait is. It's sitting directly below. It may be back a little bit. The current's a little bit high, but you know essentially where that bait's at. Let it sit there. You don't get a bite in 10 minutes. Reel it in. When you reel it in, the bait comes straight up to the balloon. And then you move the balloon closer to where you're fishing at. And like I say, as long as you've got that thing snap swiveled, you know exactly where it's at. So now, you got it out there. You let it set for 10 minutes. Nothing's hit it. Yank it. Pops the clip. It's still swiveled to your line. Now, you reel it in. Bait comes back up to the bob, to the uh, balloon. Reeled in 10 yards. Hit the button, let it drop straight back down again. Sit there for 10 more minutes, have it had a bite. Reel it in, the, the bait comes straight up to the balloon. You reel the balloon in another 10 yards, 20 yards. Hit the button, let the balloon drop straight down. So essentially what you're doing is you're bottom bouncing from 200 yards out back to your boat. Or you could do it the other way, you know, start at the boat and go out. But I'd rather, I always like doing mine from way out to back. So now you got the advantage of the balloon. Now the balloon tells you exactly where that fish was and when you finally do catch that monster that you were bottom bouncing back to the boat. Now the next setup, you just throw it out. You take it back to about the same area. Give it the pull. Clip pops. Line goes down. So essentially you can use this to bottom bounce from a stationary location and you can see exactly where you're catching your fish at. It's a big advantage. Uh, let's say you're in somewhere where you really can't reach what you're trying to hit with a cast, but the wind is favorable, the current's favorable. A point, you see a point sticking way out. Same thing. Put the balloon on, clip it right on top of your mainline swivel, let it go out to where you want it to be, give it a good pull, line drops straight down. Now you see your bait, your balloon floating right above where your bait's set. It's a great tool. Now, the only disadvantage to a balloon that I see is heavy current. It's hard for it to stay in one position. Even though it sits on the surface line, it does dig in sometimes. The other thing is, it's just like a planer board. When you see that balloon or when you see that rod fold over and you see that balloon starting to take on a little load, you'll see her really popping up like this. Well, you've got to, you, if you're using circle hooks especially, you reel, reel it down. Get that line tight before you try to fight that fish. Same way with a planer board. You get a planer board offside and it starts coming around real slow. If you run up and grab it, a lot of times that line's got so much slack in it, you'll miss the fish. I hope this is information that'll be helpful to some people out there. It's the balloon rig. Gotta love it. Give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, 
push the subscribe button.